In this video, we would like to demonstrate to you how you have to prepare the intensive care ventilators Evita V800 and Evita V600 before ventilation. Please check whether all the respective accessories for your individual patient are in place. Make sure that the rocker switch on the back of the device is switched on. You can activate the screen via the green knob. If you choose new patient, the ventilation therapy will start with pre-configured settings. If you select current patient, the ventilation will resume with the ventilation settings that have been active prior to shutdown. In an emergency, you can already hear quick start ventilation by selection and confirming the rotary knob. In this scenario, we will now start with a new patient. You select the respective field and confirm by pressing the rotary knob. Due to different hospital requirements, the ventilator will ask you whether the system check and the breathing circuit check have been performed already. If you acknowledge that message with yes, you will be directly guided to patient admission. If you have not performed it, please press no and you will be guided to the system check. The ventilator will prompt you to perform the system check and the breathing circuit check prior to use. Before starting ventilation, the ventilator will guide you through the three steps of preparation. To initiate the system test, please select the respective start field and confirm with the rotary knob. You can directly follow the instructions on the user interface. Acknowledge the alarm, check whether the breathing circuit and the humidifier, if used, is correctly assembled. Perform the calibration of the expiratory flow measurement. If you use a neonatal flow sensor, you can directly calibrate that here. If you do not use a neonatal flow sensor, you can directly skip these test steps. Ensure that the test lung is correctly connected. Every three months, you have to calibrate the internal gas sensors. Now the system check runs automatically through. A successfully passed test step is marked in green, a failed test step is marked in red, and a skipped test step is marked in gray. If you want to repeat a certain test step, you can directly do that over here. If our system check is successfully passed, we can continue with the breathing circuit test. To start the breathing circuit test, please select the used breathing circuit and humidification type. You can start the breathing circuit test over here and follow the instructions directly on the screen. The breathing circuit test determines the leakage, the inspiratory and expiratory resistance and the compliance of the circuit system. After a successful completion of the breathing circuit test, please continue with the patient admission.